Okay, so welcome. It is Sunday, January 15th, 2017. It's about 7.25 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Taking a look over here on the USGS, and we're looking at the last 24 hours worth of earthquakes, represented by these little gold dots right here. And the red dots represent the earthquakes that have happened in the last hour. Um, this earthquake right here in Guatemala happened several hours ago. Pressure transfers over across the plate boundary into uh, Puerto Rico and the Caribbean island chain. That's normal. If you've watched any of my other videos, we talk about pressure transfer. When an earthquake happens over here in Fiji, pressure transfers to the west, to the north, to the south in New Zealand, and all the way across the plate to South America. Um, and so we are still looking in this area right here for a large seven to eight magnitude earthquake here towards uh, off the coast of Japan possibly over here Taiwan or the Philippines but uh, definitely looking for a large earthquake as a result of a large deep earthquake that happened right here several days ago about five days ago I think uh, if you go back and watch some of my videos you'll see the forecast for that you'll also see where we forecast for all of these earthquakes that have already happened over the last 24 hours so I hope you'll go back and check out some of my other videos. But for right now, today, the focus is earthquakes and fracking. And so we're going to take a look at these earthquakes right here in Oklahoma. The pressure transfer comes down through the northwest, down here along the coast of California, and then it works its way across the United States to the east coast. But it stops right here where the fracking operations are in Oklahoma. In 2010, there were about 185 earthquakes in the state of Oklahoma over the course of one year. In 2016, that number rose to 2,000 earthquakes in the course of one year in the same location. So we're going to take a look at it. Um, as we zoom down in on this, the satellite imagery is not that great. I'm using a borrowed computer, so if you hear clicking noises, that's the mouse clicking. Um, and uh, I don't have Google Earth because, again, this is not my computer and I don't want to download a huge piece of software on someone else's computer. So I have to work with what I have. As we zoom in here, you're going to start to see some things that are going to probably be shocking for some of you. Um, this is an aerial footage of all some area out in the Midwest where they have all these fracking pads just to give you an idea of what to look for as we zoom in. Um, Here's a ground level photo I found uh, showing a wastewater pumping. And so what they do is they bring in uh, wastewater, chemical wastewater uh, from plants. They pay people to haul it off. They bring it out here to these oil areas and they drill down in the earth. Excuse me. And they uh, pump that down into the earth until they fracture the shale underneath. And release all of the gas and oil and natural resources that are there then they remove the drill and they replace it with a pump these are the storage tanks and they trucks will just come in on a daily basis and haul that off so uh, what we're going to look for on these USGS maps are those pumping operations and again the, the imagery is old it's probably two or three years old It'd be better if I had Google Earth uh, you could see them better we're just going to pick these two right over here, move them towards the center, and keep zooming down in on it. And I think if you haven't seen this before, don't freak out. But uh, it's pretty serious. I mean, they're, they're really doing a number on the earth right here in this area, which is also a major fault area called the New Madrid Fault. And uh, it's not a great place to be drilling thousands of holes into the earth. So as we zoom in closer, you'll start to see this imagery right here. And uh, this is right here where we had an earthquake over the last 24 hours. And you start to see those pads show up as we zoom in closer. There are literally thousands and thousands and thousands of them all over the place. And so uh, if you don't think earthquakes and oil fracking is connected, I think that uh, you're in for a surprise as we uh, continue to experience more and more earthquakes in higher and higher intensity. So there's your tanks right there and there's your, your well pump right there. And they are literally, like I said, all over the place. You can just zoom out and we'll zoom in on another one. Here's 
one right here. We'll take a look. Yeah. So there's your storage tanks here. There's a tractor trailer, I guess, coming in to pick up his load. There's your pump right there. So there is a good idea of how many fracking wells there are in here in this area in Oklahoma that's seeing this increase in earthquake activity over the past several years. We'll move over a little bit and zoom. You can see them everywhere. Thousands of them all over the place. It's unbelievable. I don't know how they're getting away with this, but this is the price we pay for cheap oil. Every single one of these. These are not houses. You would think they are houses, but they are not houses. These are oil fracking wastewater pumping operations all over the place sometimes if the sunshine hits the area just right you can actually make out the oil pump you can't really mm -hmm. tell here so anyway you can see where the trucks come in and load up and take off so this is the price we pay for cheap oil folks and uh, you know it's not a joke it's something you might want to consider taking a look at so back to our world view over here once again we had a large deep earthquake right over here a couple of days back and we are looking for that to transfer up to the surface with a large shallow earthquake still in this area possibly up in here um, but in the Jap Japan region uh, this is the Izu Ridge the Sa Solomon Islands excuse me Mariana Islands Solomon Islands are down here Mariana Islands are right here, but just to give you the geography, there's southern Japan, Hokkaido, and Honshu. And then down here we have Taiwan and the Philippines, Papua New Guinea, Indonesian Islands. So we're looking for a large earthquake, a 7 to 8 magnitude to happen over here in the next day or two. Uh, I don't want to push it out too much further. Actually should have already happened. Um, I don't have an explanation for why it hasn't. But I hope you will subscribe to my page. I made my 100th subscriber today. Um, so if you can find me over here on Facebook if you want to talk to me. And uh, you'll check out some of my other videos and give them a thumbs up. I would appreciate it. Thanks a lot and have a great night. We'll come back tomorrow and do another video.